Pauline. Pauline. I wonder what's happened to Dodge. He probably got lost. Let's get away from here. This revolution coming so suddenly will spoil all your plans. On the contrary, Pauline, the revolution will help my plans. The evacuation of the law city will leave the temple unguarded. Come in. Inspector Hartway? Yes. What can I say? Last ship, say soon. Better you go quick. You tell your boss I can't go yet. I have business. Better go now. Maybe not go at all. Father, I believe he's right. See all those refugees are crowding onto that ship? <laughs> You've got a chance of it, my dear. After a search of 20 years through blood and sand, I at last had the opportunity to make good my promise to my departed friend, the old priest Conview. Oh, but Father... The sacred disk I seek is in the temple of Tyson. I must search for it today. But Father, after all, it's a formula for a prison gas. Why not leave it hidden? I promised the venerable Conview I would find the formula and devote it to humanitarian uses. Besides, others have learned of its existence. You mean the Eurasian, Dr. Bashan, has learned of its yes, existence? Yes, he and his followers. In their hands, this gas might mean the destruction of humanity. I must start for the temple the moment Dodge returns. Deserted. The temple. Uh, yes, sir. For five hours, no one has entered or left the place. But I was followed here. Followed? By whom? Bang. The Scarface spy of Dr. Bashan. Did anyone see you at the temple? Oh, I don't know. But as I came through the streets, Fang and some of his followers were close behind me. Very close. Oh, my aspirin. What have you learned? Master, that which you seek is in the temple of Tai Sin. Are you sure? Yes. The timid one has watched the place for hours. And now is at the hotel of Professor Hargrave. Only Hargrave knows the hiding place in the temple. He is the one we must follow. Your men guard every exit of the hotel. Good. Instruct them to follow Hargrave. I'll meet you the tea house of the dragon across the way from the temple. I'll go. Government is doing everything it can to protect you. Those who want to leave, 
I'd better get aboard ship at once. The port will be closed sometime tonight. Closed? I have to get back to Cedar Rapids. My mother's expecting me. Expecting you? Yes, I'm taking her a kimono. <laughs> Uh, hello, Ward. Hello. Did you want to see me? Yeah. Come in. Bob, I suppose you're out of a job. Yeah. No more railroad building for a while. They wrecked my office and burned all my plans. Well, you'd better get back to the States until things quiet down. Hey, if the United States is mixed up in this mess, I think I'd better join up. No telling who'll be in it before the end. Well, by the way, your war record should get you a commission, Bob. I'll give you a note to Colonel Barnes. Fine. Oh, Miss Lewis, you take a note to Colonel Barnes, please. This will introduce to you Robert Ward, engineer in charge of the Fusong Road, captain of the late war, DS Medal. With you. No, Pauline. You remain here. This is a man's job. I'd be as much help as Dodge. He's shaking before you stop. It's not that I'm frightened, Miss Pauline. It's this climate. This unusual weather makes me shake. Your tickets and passports are all in order. If we're not back here in two hours... Father, please take me with you, please. No, Pauline. You must wait here. Wait two hours, then get aboard the steamer. Come, Dodge. Every moment counts now. You slip out the rear door and avoid the men who followed you. This fellow is not here. All right. We'll go that way. Hargreaves, have they left the hotel? No. Hargreaves, little fuck, left hotel. is all right, but you'd better wait till the revolutionists get through shelling that section. Sorry, I can't. that way. We take to the safe place. Thank you. 
I needed your help. You certainly did, and still do. What on earth are you doing in this section alone? Why? I'm down here on business. I'm sorry, but I've got to hurry. You can't go yet. No. Well, so my father's in danger. Where is he? He's going to the temple of Tyson. If you'll trust me, I'll take you to Tyson. Thanks. I'm already in your desk. But let's hurry. I can't help it. My father's in danger. That's the spirit. Let's go. They will come here later. Did you hear that? There's someone here. No. That was only a wind gong. A wind gong? The old priest Kanju told me that the sacred disc would be found concealed somewhere near the altar. Perhaps that god. Today will attract no attention. You mean that you're going to run through that shell fire? 
We'll have to take that chance. Come on. Them, Dr. Bechan? No, Fang. We let them get what they want. Then take it from them. The disc! The sacred disc of Mom! What I've been searching for for 20 years! The disc! Look out! That cell coming our way!
get what they want. Then take it from them. The disc! The sacred disc of Mom! What I've been searching for for 20 years. The disc! Look out! That shell's coming our way! Look out! Me in this rickshaw. You follow in the other one. All right. Astor House, hurry! Follow them. The girl, she has the disc. Yes, I know. She's following the others. That'll make it easier for us. I'd forgotten about you. Where have you been? How'd you get here? One of those men chased me to the very door of the hotel. Oh, they chased you, huh? Well, have you got a first aid kit? Yes, sir. All right, get it. And some water. Will give me that which you found in the temple. I don't know what you're talking about. Something. She was following close behind us. She should be here by now. Who are you? I'm Robert Ward, American engineer. I was engaged in building a railroad here in China until the revolution made further work impossible. Your daughter seemed to need help. I offered it. Though I was unable to understand why she should expose herself to such danger. I remember now. Saved our lives. We do need help. I will explain. For years, I've been tracing an ancient secret, the possession of which would mean world power. Well, that sounds interesting. 
It is the formula for the invisible poison gas. The formula is inscribed in Sanskrit on a disk which has been broken in two. One of the halves we found in that temple. We also found directions that will lead us to the other half. And I mean to find it if it takes the rest of my life. Possession of such a thing would surely make the nation owning it all powerful. Yes, the nation or the person. But I mean to have it for our nation. I'm with you on that. Good. As I said, we need help. But there is a powerful and unscrupulous faction after it. Our efforts will be beset by danger and trickery. Well, after trying to build a railroad from Tin Sin to the sea, I know what to expect. Pauline, she should be here. I remember now. The half of the disc we found in the temple. She's got it. Something must have happened. You'll be all right. I'll try to locate her. You still here? I was afraid you'd need me, sir. This holds but half the secret. What do you make of that parchment? It says Seat Temple Sarawak. Sarawak? This is the north coast of Borneo. Has the man tongue sailed as yet? No, Master. She is in the outer harbor awaiting your orders. And we set sail tonight. Oh, bong bong. Bonjour, Mia. Didn't find her? No, but I notified the consul, and he'll start a search at once. What happened? That his men captured me and held me prisoner. It's all right, my dear. I told Mr. Ward everything. But what of the disc? My ship has it. He's sailing an island boat called an Anton. It's in the outer harbor. We've got to follow him. I know where we can get a speedboat. But the port is blockaded. We'll try to run the blockade. Get ready to leave. I'll get a boat and a couple of my men to go with us. Dodge! Dodge! Get her things packed at once. Yes. You know what'll happen when we find the other half of the disk? What, Doctor? We'll have the world at our mercy. I'll be emperor for the universe. The glass is dropping rapidly. There's a storm coming. What are we going to do? 
We, we sail at once if we face ten storms. Get on your way, Captain. boat should see us. Well, even if it does sight us, we can outspeed it. Yes, but if they should fire on us, we can't outspeed a shell. Stop worrying, Dodge. All you have to think about is the luggage. All right, let's go. Okay, Skipper. for it. Everybody keep under cover. Get down, Dodge. Step on it, Skipper. We've got to get through. Give her all you've got. the ship. We'll get ahead of it and lay in our course. There's a big blow coming. I hope it's not one of those awful typhoons. Well, if you mean typhoon, you may well hope so. <laughs> All right, we better get these slickers on before that storm breaks. Two to shorten sail. But how can we get aboard without being seen? We can't. But I'm hoping to do it without being recognized. Boat on the lee bow, sir! What kind of a boat? Our boat with some people aboard! Refugees, maybe, huh? They'll pay to be taken away. Adriana, tell Dr. Basham. No, this is our affair. He's only hiring the ship. Shall I help them aboard? No, you look after the canvas. going with us? Yes, you can trust them. They work for me on the railroad. Well, George, don't forget the luggage. <laughs> Master, 
Hargrave and his people come. Hargrave? How did he get aboard? I don't know, but they're out there. Why hadn't told? Shoot the first man who makes a threatening move. So, oh, you'll shoot the first man who makes a threatening move, eh? You know what happens to anyone who starts mutiny on the high seas. Hey, put a hand! Put them in irons. This is my ship. There's a storm coming. You'll head him. Back to your cabin.
Belgrave, that this ship is sinking. Look, Dodge, I've recovered the sacred disk from the steep bash. We lock him in this cabin. Come, help me. Captain. I'm Bob Ward, construction engineer on the Fusong Railroad. Oh, yes, quite so. You had me carry a cargo of ties from Borneo, didn't you? That's me. What are our chances of riding this storm, Captain? Well, I'm going to say it's the worst of it is over. Say, what is your fight with my cargo, Dr. Bashan? He chartered by a ship? You take him to Bunga? Oh, Captain Drake, uh, this is Professor Hargrave, an eminent scientist. How do you do, How do you do for him? Bashan stole some valuable things from him. That's why we're on this ship. We have no further fight with Dr. Bashan now, Captain. I've recovered what he took from me, and I've got him locked in that cabin. We'll pay you well for protection and for our transportation, Captain. All right, it's a go. You'd better take a look at Bashan. He's not in very good shape. And keep him locked in that cabin until we leave Bangan. I will. All right. This parchment is a chart with instructions and directions in Sanskrit. The chart covers a lot of territory. The old priest Kantu told me when he was dying that I would visit many lands before recovering both parts of the sacred disk bearing the formula. Did he tell you that you would have to expose yourself to all kinds of danger? Yes. And what gives me the courage to continue the search is that Kantu told me that the hands of a beautiful white woman would unearth the sacred disk. Well, the captain says we'll arrive at Bang Gong sometime tomorrow afternoon. Fine. I know the country pretty well, so I'll arrange for a raft to take us up the river as soon as we land. Then with the timbers of trees. Oh, pretty tough country. Savages, wild animals, and the Hargraves. I think you'd better remain in Bang Gong. Thanks for your consideration, Mr. Ward, but I'm not afraid. <laughs> Did you see the Professor Hargrave and his daughter get ashore safely? I'm going to the wharf to arrange for a raft to take us up the river. Yes, sir. I shall see that everything is taken care of. Good. Doc, are you sure that Fang has disappeared? Right. That man is bad medicine. I'm glad we're rid of him. All right, Father. Let's go. Who is it? It's Fang, Master. Get me out of here. I'm locked in. I can't. The Hargrave party are going to the land of the temples. Oh, yeah. They don't know the raft. It travels very slowly through the jungle. When I get out of here, my very wealthy friend Yang Pu will send me in a swift prow to Yakara. And from Yakara to Nakan, it's but a short trek. To the land of the temples. Where you will meet me. With the disc and the parchment which Miss Hargrave carries now. If Fang lives, he will execute your orders. Very well then, go.
arranged everything. We'll be ready to leave in a very short time. That's good news. When do we reach the land of the temple? Sometime tomorrow. We'll sleep on the raft tonight. Lucky eats our load. Pick up. Oh, you speak their language? Yes. He's a Malay. I had a bunch of them working for me on my railroad in China. Well, make yourselves at home, folks, and uh, I'll check up with my head man. have your luggage, and I'm waiting for you on the dock. We must start at once. Get to your car in the morning. Shun, mana! Hurry, tell us come. Version for white people. You know, I arranged with Captain Drake to hold Dr. Basham until we were well on our way. I can imagine Basham right now raging like a caged lion. <laughs> such a hurry that my head boatman had to hire an indiscriminate crew. Anyway, it's great satisfaction to know that we escaped Dr. Basham. Telegraphing the news to the jungle that white people are coming up the river. Are we in danger of being attacked? Well, you can't tell. They, they might attack. I'll see if my men are prepared. Sandra. The drums. Are the men ready in case of an attack? Yes. They're ready. Miss Polly, you shouldn't expose yourself to such danger. Maybe we should go back. No, Dodge. There's no going back. The 
head boatman says that it'll be dark in a very short time. We'll tie up here for the night. <laughs> Mr. Ward, where do we sleep, if any? Why, Miss Pauline will sleep here in the cabin, and uh, the rest of us will sleep on the deck. Oh, Dodge, have you arranged for hot and cold running water? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, Dr. Bush. We'll keep well out and sure. This expedition is such a risk. We must forget the risk. And look upon it as a glorious adventure. Even though we fail. But we can't fail. Father promised the venerable Confu that he would find the disk containing the formula. Father will keep that promise. And give to the world the invisible, destructive gas that annihilated populations and destroyed ancient cities. Not the world, the science. And keep it from the hands of assassins? Like Dr. Bashan. I understand, Pauline. And you and I are going to help him fulfill that promise. You know, I have so much confidence in you, Mr. Ward. My name's Bob. Won't you call me that? All right, Bob. It's getting late. I think I'll turn in. Good night. Good night. Professor, Professor, wake up. <clears throat> Whoa, what is it? I heard an animal. Well, what of it? The jungle's full of them.
Professor. Professor, wake up. <clears throat> Whoa, what is it? I heard an animal. What of it? The jungle's full of them. Strolled away at Bon Gong. He's pretty badly mauled. I'll get the first aid kit and fix him up. He's out of the sacred disc. Have you got it safe, Pauline? Yes, I've got him. What are you going to do with him? We'll hold him prisoner and make him talk. You don't have to shoot. Cox catch him. Look, see? Disappeared with a dozen crocodiles after him. They'll never catch him. That snake could get through anything. Let's get out of here. All right, Tondra. We won't wait until morning. Get underway. Hush him now. Turn us up. to resign my position as your secretary. Very well, Dodge. Would you like to leave now? Plenty soon to your car. Yes, we'll be on time. My friends in this land, 
are very powerful. Friend, Yang Pu. He said, Dr. Prashant, great chief. He sent cheer to carry. It is well. See to my luggage. We'll soon arrive at a native village, where we start inland for the temples of Ming Tao. Gee, I wish you were in a safe place. Don't you worry about me, Bob. If it's danger, I can face it. But this is a man's job. Remember Confuse prophecy? The hand of a white woman will uncover the disc. I hope you're right. Land of the temples of Ming Tao. Reminds me of Grant's tomb in New York. It may be ours. Oh, don't talk that way. Bring the baggage. Come on. The ankle, eh? <laughs> We're near the village. With a little help, I can manage it. Humba, humba! I have piggy, the cars, the cars! Inna 
Lorente! Raya el Raya. Galud. Galud? Oh, Raya. Chandra, give presents to natives. Galut! We'll stay here tonight. That'll give me a chance to look after my ankle. Then we can get an early start in the morning for the temples of Ming Tao. But, Father, Dr. Bashan may pick up our trail. The sooner we get started, the better. Supposing you and Dodge stay here and we'll leave for the temples. All right, Pauline. But remember, the directions in Sanskrit on this parchment say that the other half of the disk will be found guarded by the hand of the destroyer. The hand of the destroyer? Mm, yes, no doubt that's represented by a heathen idol. Supposing we leave immediately so we can get back here before dark. That's a good idea, Pauline. Let's get started. Dodge. Get me some water. But, Professor Hargrave... Go on! Well, the disc, you have it. No, Master, but... Uh, Those who serve me make no excuses. I have been attacked by beasts, swam rivers, faced death, but I have kept the trail of your enemy. Listen, Master. Even now, they are on their way to the temple. If we go quickly... Wait! You have tried and failed. Listen now to my plan. What do you say, Bob? He says it's a bad place. There are demons here. Demons? Then this must be the place. Remember the parchment said, in the hand of the destroyer... You're right, Pauline. All right, boys. Stand guard here. Don't let this fellow run away. Come on, Polly. What's that noise? Must be the wind. Why, Bob, these are gods of ancient Egypt. What are they doing here in Borneo? I don't know. Look, that must be the destroyer. We'll examine it. Look, Bob, the disc. Oh, help! Bob is striking me! Help! 
Why, Pauline, it's a mechanical device. Evidently contrived by the ancients to crush anyone removing the disc. Oh, you're right, Bob. Gee, it very nearly worked. Well, anyway, we got the disc. The next thing is to get it to Father. Yes. Come on, boys. Better get out of here. Well, you can't leave this native here. They'll kill him. Oh, they'll take him with us. All right, man, pick him up. More apes. They're coming from all directions. Pauline, you've got to run for it. That trail leads straight to the village. You've got the disc. Get it to your father. You're right, Bob. Run for it. We'll follow as fast as we can. Wait a second, Ward. What do you mean? We've got to stop those devils and give the girl a chance. Fire in the air. And scare them off.
More apes. They're coming from all directions. Pauline, you've got to run for it. That trail leads straight to the village. You've got the disc, get it to your father. You're right, Bob. Run for it. We'll follow as fast as we can. Wait a second, Ward. What do you mean? We've got to stop those devils and give the girl a chance. Fire in the air and scare them off. Don't wound them. <laughs> one you found in the temple? It is. Where are Ward and the others? I don't know. Fang, take some of the natives, find Ward and the others, and bring them here. Yes, Master. Lagibai Sema Orang Ruma. Lagibai Sema Orang Ruma. One chance is that Ward may come. If they capture him... It's the end. Kasika, Tida, Alice. Native to Kadak. We must be near their village. I wish we could find it. Poor devil's in pretty bad shape. Where's my Look. Kada, they're bad. All right, men, get ready. Chances are we'll have to fight it out. Tapi ini tuan ayam sinapati. He says no shoot. They're his friend. Don't take any chances. Keep them covered. Ini tuan aku kai big. Sila barang fakir, purau laki. Him say, you his friend, you save him. Him, chief son. Him say, native hunt with white man. White man? You stay here with the native. Come on, man. Oh. 
Well, Robert Ward. Sullivan. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Hiya, Hello, boys. How are you? Looks like my boys have you cornered. Yeah, we began to think so for a while. We're trying to get that wounded native back to his village. Poor devil got pretty badly mauled by a tiger. That's too bad. Uh, by the way, where'd you disappear to when that railroad petered out? I've been traveling. I heard you were flying a bomber for the rebels. Uh, nothing doing. I had enough war the last time. Besides, when I fight again, it'll be for my own gang. Atta boy. <laughs> On the level, Ward. What are you doing here? Well, that's a long story. You won't talk. How'd you get here, Fly? Sure I flew. How else do you expect I'd travel? I made a landing in between two villages that are always fighting each other. The only quiet place I could find. <laughs> well, I'm heading for the Yadkis village to rejoin the rest of my party. The Yadkis, eh? My boys are Kadok. And they sure have it in for yours. Well, that sort of complicates things, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. But I guess we can go part of the way with you without starting a fight. Well, I hope so. In a piggy. In a piggy. In a piggy. They've got to be tough with those babies.
that's the story of this house. Wait a minute. What's this? Pauline, I thought you were safe in the village. Bashan and his men are there. They have father and daughter's prisoners. Bashan? Yes, and they turned the chief of the Yaka village against us. What's wrong, Bob? Oh, uh, this is Hargrave. This is my friend, Mr. Sullivan. How do you do, Mr. Sullivan? How are you, Mr. Hargrave? Tim, we've got to rescue Pauline's father and his secretary, Dodge. Well, from the jabbering of these natives, I judge that you've made friends with the Kadaks by saving the chief's son. Maybe they'll help you. Sandra, Sandra. Ask the chief's son if his men will help us attack the Yadka village. Tell him we'll bring in many presents. See what he's got to say. Oh, he's What happened? We came upon Ward. He had another white man with him, and many enemy Kadaks. My men fled before them. With you leading the retreat, no doubt, huh? No, Master. I tried to stop them, but... The Hargrave girl. Have you seen her? She's escaped from us. No, Master. I did not meet her. You go to Ward, undoubtedly. But he wouldn't dare attack us here. It'll soon be dark. We have the discs. Arrange for a strong escort, and we'll get away from here. What about Professor Hargrave and the other man? The natives will deal with them in their own way. He says, take him to his village. He gets more natives. Soon be dark, then attack Yattas. Good. Don't you think we better surround the village so Dr. Bashan can't leave? That's a good idea. I'll take some of my boys and go after my plane. Now, there's a clearing on the north side of your village. I'll try and land there and contact you. But save a little of the fighting for me. <laughs> All right. Do a minute. Shako, buddy. Professor, what's all that celebration? The witch doctor. Which doctor? The medicine man. <laughs> their knives and spearheads in preparation for a big feast. This isn't the other half of the sacred disc. It's merely further instruction telling where the disc is to be found. Well, none of the natives will go as your escort. Until after the feast. Perhaps if you had not given them the prisoner. Don't tell me what to do! I'll see the chief myself about an escort. What did he say? He says the Kadex are ready to attack. A gunshot from us will be their signal. Yes, maybe. Ward is attacking with the Kadax. We'll have to get away without an escort.
Pauline. Look, Master. The village burns. Give us a chance to reach Yakara without being pursued. Come on. Come back! 
Why did we stop? We turn here for good trail to your car. Very well. But we must travel with all speed. Oh, am I glad to see you. I've been waiting here all night for you. How'd the fight turn out? Great. The whole village burned down. Boy, that's tough. We've got to be getting out of here in a hurry. Come on, pile in. So you haven't got any bombs aboard, have you? You hand grenades, why? We've got to overtake Dr. Bash. Well, if I can spot him in this jungle, I'll pick him up on the wing. How'll that suit you? We've got to get him. You see, he stole something of the greatest importance from my father. That being the case, we will get him. Come on, jump in. Please, please, Mr. Pilot, do you happen to have an extra parachute? I'm sorry, but we're all out of parachutes. You can stay here if you want to. Some big game hunter, I suppose. I wish we had his plane. She's missing pretty bad, Sullivan. What are you going to do? If I can find a clearing, I'm going to land. to make a landing with hostile natives all around. Come on, Ward, give me a hand with this prop, will you? Drums. The village. I hope this trail leads to Yakara. Yes. We must be near a native village. I think I'll go down that trail and see. No, no, I wouldn't go alone, Pauline. Oh, that's all right, Father. I won't go far.
Look, Master. We... We'll rest here a while. Orang! No! Don't shoot! If you should wound him, he would bring an army of them upon us. Look. Another one. We better get out of here before they surround us. Come. I just saw Vash and his men not 150 yards away. We'll ambush them and get the death. George, you stay here with Father. What's the danger to you, Paulie? Oh, don't you worry about me. Come on, boys. We'll creep up on them and surprise them. Give me that car. Treacherous. Liable to sneak up on us. Give me the gun. There they are. All right. We'll hide on both sides of the trail and surprise them. Good idea. Stay where you are and don't move. Take their artillery, boys. Good looking gun, mister. Where's yours? I have none. Dr. Bashan, give me the sacred disc and the parchment that you took from my father. Keep your hands where they are, Bashan. Search him, Sullivan. Is this what you're looking for, miss? Remember, those discs belong to him who can possess them. Now that you have the discs, we will continue on our way. Tie each man to a tree, so that we can be well on our way before they can get free. Pauline, take the discs to your father. Come on, Professor. You can pick your own tree. I'm getting worried about Pauline and the others. You better go down the trail and see what happened. But Mr. Hargraves, can I leave you here alone?
hear that, Ward? It's Pauline calling for help. Come on, man, quick. Tom better head for the plane. That's a good idea. Hargrave and Dodge may need help. All right, and Dixon and I will head in the direction of that call. Come on, Tom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you hurt, Pauline? No, Bob. She just scared to death. They chased me into that cave, almost into the jaws of that tiger. Did you get any of those natives, Dixon? Took a pot shot at them. What about father? Perhaps those savages are... You're right, Pauline. We must go to him at once. Come on. You want to hit Hargrave or die? I'll take the first crack. Oh, the disc. Yes, Father. Both have. This is not the other half of the sacred disc. Only found it just as the parchment directed in the hand of Kali the Destroyer. But you can see it is not the other half. The letters in Sanskrit read Seek in the temple of Imuan. They say we are the destroyers of the village and must die. Sullivan, look. Natives. They've got fashion and fang. Serves them right. They don't deserve it, but we might help them out by dropping one of those hand grenades. All right, drop a couple if you want to. I'll zoom around for you. Never mind. We must 
find some way to beat them to an artist. We go fast, Doctor. But Hargrave will reach Bangon far ahead of us. Hargrave and his party will take a ship to Singapore, believing that we are still in the jungle. Even so, Master, they will reach Benares before us. My friend Yang Tu will give us passage on his swift airplane. <laughs> No, I'm afraid not. Well, Sullivan, what's all this? Have you gone in for the passenger business? It looks like it. How are you, Mark? Fine. I've no time for explanation. Professor Hargreaves and party must catch the first boat to Singapore. Well, they'll have to hurry. The Santa Maru leaves in an hour. There she lies. So long, Sullivan. And thanks for everything. And my thanks, thanks, too, Sullivan. Thank you. Well, goodbye, Sullivan. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Well, everything's set. I wired for accommodations in Singapore. Good. With Basham stranded in the jungle, we can continue our search on Apple. Oh, Dodge, you better see about the cabin. I'll arrange with the chief steward for dining room accommodations. You know, Father, something tells me that Basham's not stranded in any jungle. My honorable friend, have you succeeded? Not yet. Professor Hargrave escaped with the disc. But when I... I know the professor and his party have sailed on the Santa Maru. Tomorrow, I will have an airplane for you. Tomorrow? Tomorrow will be too late. They'll reach Singapore before me. I have radioed my people to watch the landing and shadow them until you arrive. Thank you, my friend. When you reach Singapore, go at once to my office. Thank you. Thank you. Professor, you and Miss Pauling take this rickshaw. Dodge and I will follow the others. Uh, Mandarin Hotel.
Dr. Bashan? Yes? Yang Fu, please send me. Very good. As fast as you can. I go find Dr. Bashan. Look! Sharks! Right here in the hotel. Yes, they do everything on a large scale here. Now, we're satisfied with goldfish. But they prefer sharks. Why, they're real man-eaters. What are they doing in a place like this? There's an underground passage from the sea. For some reason, the sharks seem to like this pool. Yes, the shark pool is one of the hotel's attractions. Did you receive a radio from Yang Pu? Yes, sir. You honorable Dr. Bashan? I'm Dr. Bashan. Her great party go hotel Mandarin. Why, what's it all? Good. I may need some help. Young fool, say obey orders. Now, this is what we'll do. I've arranged passage for Benares in one of the big cabin planes of the East India Airways. We start in the morning. Good. And you've completed the translation of the Sanskrit message? Yes. And it is just as I thought. Emuan Temple, a ruin near Benares, holds the other half of the sacred disk. Or instructions for finding it. The rooms are off the balcony. No one will be there now. You understand what you're to find? Yes. I'm going to look up a man who can give me some information about Emuan Temple. You'd better take me with you. No, you stay here with Pauline. Me. Dodge, you come with me. Go now, quickly. Gee, I'm a lucky devil. What do you mean? Being your bodyguard. You know, I wish Father hadn't gone alone. What do you mean? Fashion. What about Dodge? Oh, poor Dodge. He's lost his nerve. I'm afraid he wouldn't be of much help. about Bashan. Chances are he's lost in the Borneo jungle. You don't know him as we do. He's not lost in any jungle. We've got a head start on him. He's not far behind. Your father hasn't got the discs with him, has he? Oh, no. They're locked upstairs in my bag. You better give them to me. And let me keep them until morning. That's a good idea. Shall we go? Let's. Ah, 
Look, she's got the disc. Search her, Pauline. Give me the disc.
found the bag in her room. It's not the one I want. The secretaries must be in there. You watch from here. Let me know if they start out. Fang. Their luggage, but I did not find anything. But they come with a policeman. We must get out of here at once. Don't you worry, Polly. Go into your room and get out of those clothes, dear. Thank you very much, Hobbs. They're flying to India. Why, the big airline as it leaves tomorrow. We must keep ahead of them. But they still have the half disk, which holds part of the venerable Confu's secret formula. I know that. But they outnumber us. We can get it now. But with these directions, We'll get the second half of the sacred disk from the ruined temple of Imuan. And then we'll have as much as they have. We still have one half of the sacred disk bearing the formula. Hereafter, one of us must always carry it. I think that's a very excellent idea, Professor. But... Uh... No one asked your opinion, Dodge. Uh, go and get some hot coffee. Coffee? Ashman undoubtedly knows of our plans and will try to keep ahead of us. We must find some way to leave sooner than we planned. Well, there's no quicker way to reach our destination than by the transcontinental plane on which we booked passage. You're right, Bob. Miss Hargrave, will you take seat number 12, please? Thanks. Mr. Ward. Seat 10. Thank you. Yeah, Hargrave. Seat 14. Come, come, hurry up, Doc. Car for hire? Yes, Bahir. You take us to Temple of Bimuan? No, that about droves, must be horse. 
Where do you get the horses? Hotel. I take you. All strangers got horses at hotel. Get in, boy. We receive your message, Master. Everything has been arranged. The horses and men are waiting. It is well. We're going that way. Why? All road close. Maharaja's funeral next town. All right, but we've got to hurry. Arrest the Panhai. Maharaja, curse his curse. Why do they stop us? The funeral of the great Maharaja passes. We must go round. Well, which way shall we go? This way, Sahib. Runes of M-U-N. All right, Mr. Hargrave, I guess we'll have to leave the horses here. All right, we can make the rest of it on foot. Place. You know, it would just be our luck to run into Dr. Bash. I don't think so, my dear. I hardly believe he'll ever get out of Singapore. Who do these horses belong to? Three men, one woman. Gone to temple. Our great party have gone to the temple. We must do as before. You mean? Let them find that which we want, then take it from them. This place gives you the shivers. Which way do we go? Try that way. We must be very cautious. Father, you hear that sound? I think I hear something pounding. It's probably your heart, Dodge. What we're searching for should be more Egyptian than Indian in character. More Egyptian than Indian in character. Just as I thought. What is it, Father? A plaque with an inscription on it. It's the same as the last we found, with further directions for our search 
for the other half of the sacred disk. Seek in sarcophagus, tomb of Menkara. Why, that temple is in Egypt. That tomb was excavated several years ago, and the sarcophagus taken to the museum in New York. You mean the other half of the sacred disk bearing the formulas in New York? Undoubtedly. Well, that's a break. It might have been in darkest Africa. Or at the bottom of the ocean. Can't we go at once? Yes. And we had better make arrangements to leave for New York immediately. That which we seek is in New York. We will go before them. First, we must get back the other half of the sacred disk. Father, I think I'll investigate that noise. Sounds like someone's in distress. Don't be gone long, Pauline. Dodge and I will wait for you outside. Bob, you go with her. We'll follow Ward and the girl. She may be carrying the disc. Professor Hargraves, I'm afraid I'll have to resign my position as your secretary. Very well, Dodge. If you want to stay here. Oh. Sounds of India, probably. I wonder what it could be. Sounds to me like it's down there. Let's find out. We go this way, Sahib. Head them off. Dodge. You see around you mute evidence of a dead civilization, destroyed perhaps by the very gas whose formula we seek. Professor Hargraves, it's not as dead as you think. There's something alive around here. I feel it. Seek in sarcophagus, tomb of Menkara. I remember now. It was the expedition of 1902 excavated this old temple and sent its treasures to the New York Museum. The old Chinese priest Pan Kyu never realized you'd find a sacred disk in New York. I hope it is the sacred disk, and not just instructions sending us back here again. Look, Dodge. A priest and his servant of the Temple of Imuen. Now, I wonder what they want. Why do you desecrate our sacred temple with your presence? What is it you seek? Our presence has not desecrated your temple. That which we seek, we hold most sacred. Imuen, guard his secrets well. And the dust of the ages moon the morning. Yes. Whom you left to die in the Borneo jungle, the gods willed otherwise. You will give me the disc. It belongs to my father. Fang! It's locked itself. But look, just be there, the park door. You hear what they're saying? What's he saying? My priest, we must get out of here. He will bring many Hindus and put you in prison. We can't run the risk of being imprisoned by the natives, Fang. You'll have to leave here at once. No, all I can hear is a lot of mumbling. But the girl has the first half of the sacred disc. Yes, but they must go to New York for the other half. We'll follow them there. We'll meet them at the museum. I wonder how we can get out of here. The window. Let's see where it leads to.
weird sound. The moaning sands of India, probably. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Sounds to me like it's down there. Let's find out. We go this way, Sahib. Head them off. priest and his servant of the temple of Imuen. Now, I wonder what they want. Why do you desecrate our sacred temple with your presence? What is it you seek? Our presence has not desecrated your temple. That which we seek, we hold most sacred. Imuen guard his secrets well. And the dust of the ages moon the warning. It's locked itself. Break it in. That cannot be, Sahib. It's very heavy stone. Is there no way around? What's in there? Oh, I do not know. I've never been in there. Up, look. Just be fair, the You hear what they're saying? What's he saying? My priest. We must get out of here. He will bring many Hindus and put you in prison. No, all I can hear is a lot of mumbling. We can't run the risk of being imprisoned by the natives, Fang. We'll have to leave here at once. But the girl has the first half of the sacred disk. Yes, but they must go to New York for the other half. We'll follow them there. We'll meet them at the museum. I wonder how we can get out of here. The window. Let's see where it leads to. We have trespassed. My daughter is inside. I will find her and leave. What's wrong? Your daughter is in danger. Oh, Who are you? Your daughter is in danger. If we go that way, they see us. Well, which way can we go? We may go this way, Sahib. They are trapped in the hidden well beyond this locked door. But there must be some way to open it. The force of that water was terrific. We couldn't have held out much longer. But for our worthy friend here, you both would have been lost. Punished by the great god Imuan for desecrating his temple. Now you must go, please. Yeah, we better stop for New York immediately. Yes. There's a transatlantic plane leaving for New York by way of London today. I do not know how to thank you. 
with silence. Come, Singh, we go. Thirty-one. Bargrave. Seat thirty-four. Mr. Ward. Twenty-nine. Thank you. Seat thirty. Doctor Bashing. Seat fifteen, Doctor. Thank you. Okay. Sixteen, please. Dr. Basham and Fang are aboard. Dr. Basham and Fang are aboard? Look. What can we do about it? Nothing. We'll watch them carefully when we arrive in New York. Professor Hargrave. Well, well, Professor Thompson. We're certainly glad to see you. Pauline, how are you? I'm happy to be back in New York. Professor Thompson, this is Mr. Ward. How do you do? How do you do? You must have had a wonderful trip. From India to New York in five days. That's a marvelous record. You received my cable, of course. Yes. And you're all coming to my house tonight as my guest. I've made all arrangements at the museum for you tomorrow. Tomorrow? You must get into the museum at once. Oh, well, that's quite impossible. The Egyptian end is being repaired, and all the lights have been turned off. But, Father, we can't wait. Dr. Bashan may catch up with us. Pardon me, Pauline. Just who is this Dr. Bashan? Well, you see, he's an Eurasian who knows Father's secret and is determined to get the date. Professor Hargrave, Miss Pauline, the immigration officials grabbed Dr. Bashan and Fang at the gate and have taken them to headquarters because they had no passports. Well, that settles Dr. Bashan. He'll be held up for at least... 24 hours. Then we can postpone our visit to the museum until tomorrow. Fine. Let's go. These political renegades followed us right up to the very gates of the Forbidden City, within the walls of Pekin. But the powerful influence of the High Priest Confu had the gates open to us and closed to them. And Soon we were safe within the fortifications of the royal palace. That, Thompson, was my last adventure with the venerable Confu, who revealed to me the great secret of the sacred disk. Foreign Consul had and his daughter to see it. Good. Folks, I want you to meet the Consul. He may be of valuable assistance to you, Hargraves. Ah, my dear friend, Professor Thompson. Consul Hadjan, I'm glad to see you. Miss Hadjan. How do you do, sir? I want you to meet some very dear friends of mine. Consul Hadjan, Miss Hargrave. Thank you. Miss Hadjan. How do you do? Mr. Ward. Come on. Professor Hargrave. How do you do? And Mr. Dodge. How do you do, sir? Professor Hargrave has just returned from a very interesting trip in the Orient. Oh, you arrived today by plane? Yes. 
five days from India to New York. Oh. Two countrymen of mine were fellow passengers. I experienced a little difficulty with the immigration officers in securing their release. And uh, who were they, if I may ask? A uh, Dr. Bashan and a Mr. Fang. Now, folks, I want you to make yourselves at home. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Hargraves made some very interesting discoveries. I bet they're on the way to the museum right now. Get far away from Hagen. Tell him we've got to leave for the museum at once. I'll arrange everything with Professor Thompson. We've got to get there ahead of Dr. Bashan. this case. Say, I don't like this job. I ain't no undertaker. There's no time for talk. You do the job, now get it done. Ah, uh, this joint gives me the willy. There's a car driving up. Let them in the side entrance. Okay. There's a girl in the party. She has something I want. Now we'll stay together. No one moves until I tell him. Professor Are you the watchman that took my telephone message? No, sir. He went off duty, but he told me to let you in. This way, folks. Be careful where you step. The weapon have left their tools lying about. Is that the girl? Yes. Be quiet. She's a good looker. Be quiet. Those may be the other half of the disc. I hardly think so, my dear. The Egyptian wing is over here. Follow me. Who's there? This is Mr. Dodge of Professor Thompson's party. I'm looking for Professor Thompson, who was with Professor Hargrave's party. Over there. Over there. I see. Where we here we are. The sarcophagus of Menkara. This joint's getting on my nerves. But how are we going to get into this case? Bob, see if the watchman has the keys. All right. If they find the disc fang, you and I take care of Hargrave and Thompson. I beg your pardon. Have you the keys to the uh, mummy case in the Egyptian wing? Yeah.
You know, Father Bob should be back with those keys. That's right, my dear. See if you can find him. Ben, when we attack, you grab the girl. Hargrave, I want to show you something interesting. Here it is. It's here, in this vase, the other half of the sacred disk. Be careful, Hargrave. That's a warning to any desecrator of this vase. That's strange. The inscription on the plaque I found in the temple of Imuen read, Seek in sarcophagus of Menkara. All right, man. Bob! Bob, where are you? Pauline! <coughs> 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 So, you found the other half of the sacred disk. Fang! I beg your pardon. Have you the keys to the uh, mummy case in the Egyptian wing? Yeah. Oh.
You know, Father, Bob should be back with those keys. That's right, my dear. See if you can find him. Ben, when we attack, you grab the girl. Hargrave, I want to show you something interesting. Here it is. It's here, in this vase, the other half of the sacred disk. Be careful, Hargrave. That's a warning to any desecrator of this vase. That's strange. The inscription on the plaque I found in the temple of Imuen read, Seek in sarcophagus of Menkara. Found the other half of the sacred disk. Fang! Explosive. Disc, the sacred disc. We'd better get out of here before the police arrive. We leave Dr. Bashan to explain his presence. You're right, Ward. We leave from my home at once. Professor Hargrave! Professor Hargrave! Dodge! Where have you been? What's happened to you? I don't know. Get me out of this. I'm plastered. I'll say you're plastered. Oh, Dodge, what a mess you're in. Well, we'll have to get you out of this. Come on. Master, they got away. Yes. With the complete formula. Both halves of the sacred disk. I'll follow them. No, no. No, they're going to Thompson's. Tomorrow you'll pay them a quiet visit. I'm glad we got that museum affair settled. Yes. Newspapers are full of it. Miss Pauly. <coughs> Have you seen this? Mysterious explosion at museum. Police investigating attempted robbery in the Egyptian room. Now we've got the police after us. Oh, nonsense, Dodge. We haven't broken any laws. Besides, Father's contribution to the Egyptian exhibit. You're right, Pauline. I have already taken care of the museum affair. Well, thank you, Professor. We're greatly indebted to you. Uh, Thompson, I should like to copy the formula, if you don't mind. 
Not at all. Come into my lap. Obtain the selenic acid by decomposing a selenate with hydrogen sulfate. There. That completes the formula. As you would observe, Thompson, this exceedingly rare formula comprises some of our most powerful elements. Well, uh, now that you have the formula, why not turn it over to the government? Not until I have compounded the formula and tested the destructive powers of the gas. I alone will take that risk. Yes, sir. I'm afraid I wouldn't be much help to you in that, sir. I'm afraid not, Dodge, or anything else. And uh, after you've tested it? I'll give it to the War Department and suggest that a demonstration be made before the great powers. It may mean the end of war. Great achievement, Professor Hargrave. I hate to think what Dr. Fashion would do with this. Now you understand, Thompson, why I must have a secluded laboratory to compound this formula. Well, you're certainly welcome to use my lab here in the house, or my larger and more elaborately equipped place in the chemical exchange building on Water Street. I have an entire floor and part of the top, and you can work there for days without being disturbed. There couldn't be a better place. I'm grateful, Thompson. Uh, could we go there today? We can go at once if you wish. You know, Professor, I think Dr. Bashan is still going to give us trouble. I have no doubt of that, Ward. Now that you have the formula translated, we must guard it even more carefully than the sacred disk itself. What would you suggest uh, as an added precaution? Well, that uh, Pauline carry the translated formula on her person. And you carry the sacred disk. A good idea. We can arrange to have the chemicals and compounds you need sent to the exchange building, and you can start work tomorrow. Why tomorrow? I can have everything sent to the laboratory today and begin my most interesting experiment this evening. Uh, Dodge, uh, call the Cranville Chemical Company. Unlock the door. Well, what did you learn? Hargreaves has translated the sacred formula on the disk and is going to compound it in Professor Thompson's laboratory. Where is Thompson's laboratory? In the chemical building on Water Street. Say, I know where that building is. Where is the translated formula? Who has that? Miss Hargrave, and she is going to keep it in her possession. Good. We must get possession of that formula before Hargrave has time to compound it. Once he does, the secret will be his. We must get it immediately. Tonight? No. Today. Hargraves will not work on the sacred formula until tomorrow. Tonight they rest. The girl will have it. Very well, tonight then. Have you studied carefully the Thompson layout, uh, the surrounding neighborhood, uh, all possible interference? As much as I could from the outside. My briefcase. Tyrone, you're going to take a very important message to Professor Thompson. It'll call for an immediate reply. Be sure that you get inside the house. I understand. While Thompson writes the answer, I get the layout of the place. Correct. And if possible, learn where Miss Hargrave's room is situated. I'll bring you a blueprint of the whole layout.
all right. Thank you. I'll wait up any longer for Father and the others. You're perfectly right, Miss Pauline. They may stay at the old lab all night. When Father comes, tell him I retire. Yes, Miss Pauline. That is, if you think you can remain awake long enough. Why, of course I can remain awake, Miss Pauline. Well, I wouldn't dream of leaving you here alone unguarded when you have the sacred formula in your possession. You still have it, haven't you? Yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. You mean with our lives? Yes, Dot. With our lives. Hello, Father. What time will you be home? In about an hour? All right, I think I'll wait up for you. Master, the girl and the man Dodge are in the house alone. You're sure of that? Yes. They are waiting for Hargreaves and the others to return from the lab. The laboratory? And Hargreaves has the secret formula. He's compounding it. No, Master. The girl has the formula on her person. I heard her assure Dodge of that fact. You're positive of that. We can't afford to make a mistake. I am positive. And the girl has just retired to her own room. And you know where that room is? Yes. The room is just as Tyrone told you. On the ground floor at the side of the house. Good. We must act quickly before the others return. Now you all know what to do. This is our last chance to get possession of the sacred formula. The slightest mistake might prove fatal. You all know what to do? Yes, we sure do. Good. You must bring me that sacred formula. If the girl will not surrender it, then bring me the girl. Now go.
Pauline! There she is. Quick, Dodge. Call the police. The police. Police! 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 We'll fire in the air. That may get them away from Pauline. Then we let them have it. It's warned. That shooting will have the whole neighborhood after us. We bungled again. The sacred formula was almost within my grasp. Police who are after them. Start your motor. Pauline, my child, what happened? Oh, Father, I, I was asleep in my room. Bang and these men came in. Evidently, they were after the sacred formula, but I still have it. Our graves. We must plan some method of protecting ourselves. Come, let's go inside. What do you think you're doing? Well, sir, I couldn't raise the piece. So when I found these guns, I thought I would uh, bump them off. Dodge, I feel you should resign your position as my secretary. You want me to go now, sir? Yes. <laughs> Four of you, you can't get the sacred disc from Miss Hargrave. She outsmarts you. She's too clever for you. But, Master... I'm going to get possession of that sacred formula in spite of her. In spite of all of them. You know, you have such a beautiful place here, Professor. I've been very happy here, Pauline. Everything is so peaceful and quiet. <laughs> You mean it was peaceful and quiet until we arrived. Oh. You know, I'm a little worried about Mr. Ward not returning and Dodge. Uh-uh. Well, you see, we've been through so many hazardous experiences together. But naturally, I'm Naturally, worried. Pauline. Besides, Bob Ward is worth worrying about. You know, I like him. And I'm glad to observe you do, too. You see, he's been a great help to father. Pauline. Pauline. Professor Thompson, come here. What is it, father? Something that would amaze you, Pauline. And to sound our good friend Thompson here, you know, of course, the usual reaction of this acid in contact with a metallic salt. Yes. Then watch what happens when it is added part of the secret formula of the sacred disk. Just one drop. I dare add no more. Marvelous. Unbelievable. Then think what we will possess when the entire secret of the sacred formula has been compounded and is ours. Hargraves, I'm proud to be of some little assistance in helping in helping to save the peace of the world, you should say. Oh, Father, I wish Bob were here to see this. Bob, you're just in time to have Father show you what he's learned from the sacred formula. It's only a drop, as you will see. I hesitate to imagine the potential possibilities of what we are revealing. I don't stand too close. Wonderful achievement, Professor Hargrave. This is only a preparatory experiment. Wait till I have compounded the entire formula of the sacred disk. Oh. 
Well, what happened? We followed Warden Dodge to the chemical exchange building. Yes, go on. With the clever aid of Tyrone here, we gained access to the building. Good work. What'd you find out? That Hargraves has shipped in a large assignment of rare chemicals and will start working there this afternoon. Who gave you that information? From a watchman named Monell, employed by Thompson. Good. We'll go there immediately. Be very careful of that. It contains some important chemicals. Oh, naturally, sir. Where's Pauline? Here I am, Father. Oh. You personally saw that all my supplies were at the chemical exchange building. All present accounted for, sir. Good. Now then, Thompson, we're about to start to work on a revolutionary project. Come along. Checked all possible entrances and exits. Good. Our great party's just arrived. Get in the car. You wait until they get interested in their work. Those chemical reagents are missing. We'll have to go to the express office and inquire about them. Now be sure this is not disturbed. It's a dangerous combination of chemicals. It has a phosphorus base and explode on contact with air. We'll see that nobody goes near, Father. I'll go with you, Professor. We won't be long. Come on, Doc. Well, looks like I'm the bodyguard again. You don't mind, uh, do you, boss? No, I rather like it. Express off. Good. That leaves only two of them to deal with. Yes, but if Hargrave has the discs with him... That event will get them when he returns. The sacred formula is the important thing. Come, we'll go in at once. I'll be sailing back to China soon on one of those boats. You know, our work here is almost finished. Well, if there's nothing to keep you here, I suppose you will be going. There is something that would keep me here, or that I'd like to take with me when I go. Hmm, sounds like a puzzle. Now let me give you one. What goes down a chimney up, but can't go up a chimney down? Uh, you're too fast for me, Pauline. I never was a very fast worker. Oh, no? Don't reach for your gun, Ward. I've got you covered. And, sir. You're going to hit the first man that comes near me. I do. You get through that door and get to a telephone. Come on, man. 
fire's got us cut off. There's a, there's a tower. The fire breaks the beast from there. Let's run for it.
Oswald and Miss Hardgrave were in that tower. Yes, I saw. We must get away before the police find out that we started the fire. Jerome, you wait here and see what happens. Then report to me the hotel. Hang comes. Dr. Basham, just a minute. Yes, this is Dr. Basham. They don't answer. Very well, thank you. If Miss Hargraves carried the sacred formula, then it perished with her. The girl carried the formula. But I am sure Professor Hargraves carried the sacred disk. Then he'll again translate the formula which is inscribed on the disk and compounded in the laboratory of the Thompson home. Yes. And now that the girl is out of our way, it will not be so difficult to secure the sacred disk from her graves. You're right. It will be easier with her out of the way. I'll give Professor Hargraves time to translate the formula but not to compound it. I will go there now and keep a close watch on him. No, 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 we must stay here until Tyrone returns with his report. Well, what happened? The Hargraves girl and Ward are alive. Alive? Yes, they escaped from the wreckage of the burning tower and is rescued by Hargraves and some firemen. She has the sacred formula. We must get possession of it immediately, at all costs. Hand me that delirium. Delirium? Yes. Over there, that vial marked delirium. Oh, you mean tellurium. men I spoke to you about. They are trustworthy and experienced in guarding property. That's fine, Thompson. How are you, gentlemen? You understand, do you, that we are conducting important chemical experiments, and it is essential that no one enters this house without our approval. You can depend on us, boss. Uh, Dodge, as you'll be able to recognize the thugs in Basham's employ, you'll work in close contact with these gentlemen. Come, men. I'll acquaint you with the grounds. Professor Hargraves, I'd rather have a couple of cops. You know, brass buttons and bad stand for something. Never mind about that now, Dodge. Better join Professor Thompson and the others. Good work. See you tomorrow. Dan has arranged everything. You're to meet the delivery truck at 80th and Grand. You understand, of course, that the gas in the container which I have compounded from the formula on the sacred disk 
will, according to Confu's theory, immediately destroy any living thing with which it comes in contact. But follow the formula said the gas was invisible. That's true, Pauline. I've retained its visibility during experimentation. The final gesture in the experiment is to make this white vapor invisible. That's a dangerous process. Therefore, I shall use only a small quantity of the gas. But as it is the final act, I want you all to witness it. This is as far as we can go. Dr. Bashan and I will wait here. Tyrone, you have your instructions. But remember, we can't afford any gunplay that will attract the police. Now go. All right. This tube contains a very small quantity of the destructive gas. This contains the uh, chemical I've compounded to make the gas invisible. You'd better stand back a little. There's always the element of danger. You mean uh, danger from escaping gas? No. There's enough gas in the tube for that. That flask contains enough to annihilate us all instantly. But there might be an unexpected chemical uh, development, possibly an explosion. Now watch. Shot. It's all right, gentlemen. Only a mild explosion, but I'm glad to see you right on the job. <laughs> oh, be careful, officer. That's poisonous gas. More chemicals? Carboy of acid for Professor Hargrave. Yes, sir. and leave the motor running, quick. Polly, the disc and formula in the desk. Thank you. 
just the formula must be here somewhere. through that door. The destructive gas. They've broken the container. It means their death. Instant death. I will explain, Sergeant. I'm afraid the leader of these criminals has brought tragedy upon himself. I suppose you're happy now that you prove Confuse theory? Yes, I am happy, Thompson. Yet this tragic demonstration teaches us to realize the tricks of fate. What do you mean? That the thing Bashan fought so hard and desperately to possess is the thing that destroyed him. It was not fate. It was justice. Basham's sole ambition was to use Confu's great secret to destroy. Your father is certainly fortunate in having such an ideal place to work out his theory. Yes, I expect he'll spend many happy days working here. You know, it's been his life's ambition to give Confu a secret to the world. You know, it isn't everyone who can fulfill his life's ambition. Bob. You're not worrying about going back to China to finish that old railroad, are you? Well, not exactly. But I was wondering whether... Then you are going back to China. On one condition, that you go with me. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, but uh, an urgent cable for you, Mr. Ward. Urgent? When did it arrive? Last week. What is it? It's from Sullivan. He wants me to go back to China and finish that railroad. Bob. When do we go? 